we go. Hello, friends of Sablecraft. Um, it is Mal, and um, I wanted to talk today um, about Counter Strike um, betting and trading. Um, now, this could be obviously a long topic, and I'm no pro with any of this betting and trading stuff um, at all, but uh, I have made in my span of doing it probably let's see six months worth no i'd say like two months of trading and profited about 30 40 bucks um in total so that is i mean that's pretty good considering what i put into it um you know that's quite a bit um so like i said i want to talk about trading and betting uh, we should start probably with talking about exactly where I started. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jesus, my freaking throat's fucked up. Anyway, um, I only had a few skins when I started. Um, let's see. Let's see if I could find any of them, actually. I might have gotten rid of all of them. Um, really, probably. I remember I had a... Um, this, actually, this Emerald Pinstripe was a drop. And this is, I used it in, in betting as well. Um... Three dollars actually, or four dollars rather, at the time, and using that in betting was just really helpful. Um, one of the first skins I had, mm, I unboxed USPS Guardian. I used that for betting, and a few other skins, but you know, not really that important. But the fact of the matter is that you can make money off of trading, a lot of money, and, and a lot of money off of betting. But uh, in, in fact, um, unless you're like a you know, spend a lot of time trading, um, and if you don't mind the risk, I think betting is actually the way to go. Uh, betting on skins, you can bet on your, you know, popular teams, and if you spend a lot of time reading up on analysis, because you don't have to, you don't have to know all this stuff yourself when it comes to the trading and or the betting. Rather, you don't have to know everything about the teams. Um, you can just read up, go go to different websites and read up on them. See. You know, their stats or previous game stats, um, what people think. Um, there's a lot of betting analysis websites actually that will tell you predictions and you can just follow those. And that is what I have actually been following. Um, in fact, in two games that I bet, I managed to get this stat track USPS Guardian pistol. Um, I managed to also get, let's see, this Guardian here. I managed to get this Dark Water. I managed to get the stat track 5.7 Copper Galaxy, Steel Disruption. Um, this op Cortisra op red line and the M4A4 X ray. Um, oh, and this op graphite. So that's just with a few bets. That's quite a bit of um, it's quite a bit of cash on on hand. Um, I think that it's quite impressive and it's quite it's quite worth it to bet. In fact, because when you trade, you're only going to get maybe three four dollar profit on average. Um, so that I think is quite quite a difference unless you know unless you're an expert trader and you you have a high rep um you know get like 80 90 fucking <clears throat> sorry like 80 90 dollars profit um otherwise i think it's worth it to bet if you know what you're doing though it is risky you might lose skins but that's why you have a separate betting inventory you only you have skins set aside just for betting um and and in this market in this game it is crazy to think of the kind of money that goes through it. Um, in fact, I'm kind of dumbfounded. I, I can't believe people spend, you know, that kind of money in the game in one day. Um, for example, usually I had a system where I'd spend about five, ten dollars a week on skins, and actually I'm down to I haven't spent money on skins in several weeks now, um, and I, I just don't like spending money on a game. In fact, I only have bought a few skins. I bought this Mendy. Um, I won the Undertow. Um, I bought this P2000 Cortisera. Um, I did buy this other, uh, this Griffin, rather. I bought this people. You know, I, I bought a few skins, nonetheless. Um, and they're just, I don't buy them for, you know, trading and selling. A lot of people buy these skins for future investment to sell them, which is, you know, that, that is something. There's a lot of money, like I said, going through this game. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars here. People watch the trends and will bet or, um, will trade based on the trend line, um, you know, buy low, sell, how that kind of thing. But it's, you know, a little bit more complicated than that with the Counter-Strike market. Um, I'm 
by no means an expert. In fact, I do have a few friends that are quite, you know, experts at training, um, and they know exactly what they're doing. That's how they get their knives upgraded every time. Um, you will notice. <sighs> Excuse me. You will notice that there is a knife in my inventory. Um, now, before people are like, oh my god, it's a cool knife, you know. I mean, it's not, obviously it's not a great knife. But it's still a knife, right? Um, but before you, like, you know, say, well, you know, you, maybe you got that, you unboxed it, or you traded for it. Neither, actually. This knife was given to me by a friend to trade. Actually, it's not even my knife. So before, <laughs> I've actually only had one knife that I actually earned myself from trading. In fact, it was started with a dollar and ended up trading up to $70. And, you know, and eventually bought a flip knife for DD pad. Nothing special, but nonetheless, a knife still. Um, and I let it get scammed off me. This is about six months ago. So that and an AK-47 Balkan, which I lost betting. So those are two big things I lost betting and trading where I will never spend that kind of money anymore. Um, so yeah, you can trade up for knives, but this, like I said, this knife was given to me to, to be sold. It's, it's not mine. Um, but I am glad it is really nice to have one. And you know what? You get a lot more attention from people. If you have a knife in your possession by any means, um, this knife, I actually kind of like, um, I didn't like the Huntsman knife at first, but the animation of pulling it out, I think is quite nice. Um, but that's really not the scope of this video. What is most important to talk about is actually the value of these items. Let's go into this marketplace real quick and, and we'll show you exactly the kind of money if you know if you're not an expert already, the kind of money that goes into counter strike items. It's insane. These knives here alone, um, you see if it says starting at four hundred dollars, yeah, that's starting price. These actually sell for much more, generally, much more than $400. There are knives that go for $1,000, $2,000, in fact. It's unbelievable. Depends on the pattern of the knife, but still, they still sell for that kind of price. The cheapest knives you're going to get are, as you can see here, around $41. So, unless you, you know... Unless you kind of, I can't say that, I don't want to really say this, but you, you can't you can't really just be complete bum broke and think you're going to buy a knife. It, it, in fact, it's a waste of goddamn money, in my opinion. Don't do it. If you're going to get a knife, try to have someone give it to you or unbox it. It's not worth it in any other way. Like, you could unbox, like, $2,000 knife. You could unbox it. This one guy, you know, a carabid fade. Whoops. My video actually crashed. Um, anyway, as I was saying, this... this Factory new Karambit stat track, you know, depending on the pattern, it, you know, Karambit stat track fade, you know, full fade, 100%. Um, you know, and you get a certain pattern, it would go upwards of $20,000 back in the day. $20,000. It's, it's just unbelievable the kind of money that people invest in this game. So that's why this market is so, is the way it is. You know, these knives are, are so valuable. Um, yeah, your best bet would be to unbox them. The chances of you um, unboxing them, obviously, is extremely slim. Um, and unless you want to risk that gamble, it's not worth it. Um, in fact, I, I'd actually go as far as saying, you know, really try to just get it from somebody else as a gift. Or I know that's far-fetched, but still, it's either that or you spend the money to buy them, and I don't think it's worth it to buy them. But I also think it's less worth it to try to unbox them because the price of keys uh, to do so. But it is not too hard to accumulate an inventory worth a lot of money. Um, you, If you trade properly, if you bet properly, you know, after maybe a year or two years, you might have a really decent inventory. But the fact of the matter is, there's still money. Almost always, someone, you know, they put in money at some point in the, here. And um, see, this is actually an offer that I had, a trade offer. There's a lot of trade offers going in here. And, uh, you know, I, I ignore a lot of trade offers because they're trying to give me underpays for uh, items. Do not accept underpays ever. You will lose value on your items um, that you spent, you know, probably spent some valuable money on or 
you know, trying to trade for. So don't you know, don't let that happen. You should always know exactly where you stand. And and I think another really amazing part about all this is this is just a section of the game. This is kind of, you know, it's like Team Fortress. This this is not necessary. I mean, I can live without these. You know, you can you can still play Team Fortress without any of the other items and you know unusuals and hats and all that, right? And you don't need any of this either. In fact, the only thing I really think is kind of useful is the stat tracks on um, the items. I think stat tracks are cool because you can track, obviously, you track how many kills you got in each gun. Um, and that, that's you know that's useful. <clears throat> but other than that, it, it's just amazing to think the kind of you know money that goes through this game. The amount of skins that are put on the game. People are trying, they're going nuts over these skins. Um, getting the new ones into the game and trying to get their skins shown. And now my inventory isn't extremely obviously valuable by any means, but you know, it still shows a decent variety of the skins that they put in this game. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of skins and there's skins being added all the time. And therefore, the market is constantly changing. There's no, it's, it's a user created market, really. User dominated market, I should say. There is no cap. It, it is all what the people want. Hmm. I think it's amazing. Um, personally, I'm not really interested in spending too much more money on this game, so if I can ever get an actual knife, which I'm trying on, you gotta go on CSGOLaunch.com, or I think it's .com, yeah, and, uh, you know, trade up there and bet there, that's that's your betting website, and hope for the best, honestly, just play the game, um, and I think another, another good way to make money, um, is through the basic cases that you drop in games, try to get a chroma case at this point, but when a new operation comes out, you're gonna to wanna to get the operation case for, uh, that operation. So, you know, ways to make cash, not much, but nonetheless, still cash. Play the game, get drops. Trading is quite an interesting experience. It's a long pain in the ass, to be honest. Very long pain in the ass. But if you're really interested in skins, man, honestly, just waste money on them. I mean... It's still a waste of money, no doubt, but if that's what you're into, man, do it. Um, you enjoy the game. You deserve to spend money on it, right? Uh, so that's really that. Uh, I'm not sure what else, if I was going to cover anything else. Uh, I think that's it, for the most part. Um, if anything comes up... Um, yeah, if anything comes up, I'll bring it up. Maybe the next video or something, but yeah, I, I, I'd like doing these um, videos on Counter Strike, so we'll see exactly how that goes. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I understand it was kind of boring. I might get some more combat footage sometime soon.